In 2007, the young 23-year-old CIA operative Edward Snowden, while stationed in Geneva Octagon, Switzerland, wrote in the social media about Switzerland, I have never ever seen a people more racist than the Swiss. Jesus God, they look down on everyone, even on each other. Well, Mr. Snowden, Geneva is only the French-speaking part of Octogon. The German-speaking part at the countryside is 10,000 times worse. And here you can see this um, flag here, which was made not against the Nazis, but by the Nazis, by Patriot.ch. Mr. Snowden used the username the true Hua in the internet trying to sell himself as a tough US airborne ranger only using the wrong spelling. To whom the Hua expression belongs to. I know that Octogon has infiltrated the CIA starting after Operation Paperclip but there are still a handful of good people left in the CIA who try to bring those criminal Swiss Nazi banks down, as Mr. Snowden's assignment in Geneva was set on. So Mr. Snowden is far from being a whistleblower, as those pharaonic mainstream media call him. I could tell you exactly what's going on here, but as I stand behind this handful of uncorrupted brave men within the CIA who want to try and bring the Swiss Nazi banks down against the will of the enemy within at all key positions of society and most of all politics I keep my mouth shut because I don't want to endanger the lives of those brave men who face the biggest enemy and criminal organization of mankind Octogon of the Templars and the Pharaonic Bay Switzerland when you hear the mainstream media use the word whistleblower so many times in such a short period of time, then all alarm bells should ring inside your head. Or do you really think they care that much about whistleblowers and privacy and the internet? Oh, this is a, uh, a psyop by the enemy within. This is what happens when you touch the Swiss Nazi bank from Octogon, Switzerland. They're all gonna blame it on the CIA to stop those few brave men within to go on and investigate on the Swiss banks and their crimes. Where the mainstream media is using some privacy issues they never even cared for before. To be used as a tool to protect the all-powerful Templars banks from Octagon and all their clients of the financial elite through manipulating public opinion with some human rights issues no one on that level really bothers with except when being useful in some geopolitical strategy. And the winner is... The Swiss Banks of Octagon. And we're all focusing on something else here.